Ooh. Hey, course to review, asking questions to make data driven decisions. For those of you who are new to this channel, hi, my name is Felix, and this is the second of eight videos where I give a quick overview and opinion of the courses in the Google Data Analytics certification. If you're someone who's looking to go in and learn and get the certificate, maybe this will help you get an idea of what sort of things you'll learn. Anyways, course two. This course focuses on giving us a little bit more context on the first phase of data analysis, which is the ask phase. In the first week, we are introduced to six different problem types that data analytics try to solve, making predictions, categorizing things, spotting something unusual, identifying themes, discovering connections, and finding patterns. Generally, as a data analyst, we ask questions to help us solve one of these six problems. We do this by asking smart questions. And I'm sure a lot of people have heard the idea of smart questions, where the questions are specific, measurable, action-oriented, relevant, and time-bound. During this portion, we learn and reinforce the idea of asking specific questions that pertain to the end goal, as well as how to make a not so good question a good question for example close-ended questions not good um more bias oriented such as wouldn't you agree that this movie was great is more of a bias oriented question as well more open-ended questions and more specific and measurable time-bound ones are more preferred in the second week we cover more basic concepts such as the difference between qualitative and quantitative data and how these types of data are presented, be it on a dashboard or a report. Another thing is the difference between dashboards and reports and how they present different data differently, be it a high level overview of historical data or a continuously updated interface accompanied by visual tools. We have different ways to present our data. So the third week was a bit of an ironic one. So in my last video, I talked about wanting to get a deeper dive into Excel. Well, they did that this time. They did this through a portion called Quick Labs along with the normal lecture materials, where along with learning more basics of Excel, we had mock data for which we would organize, clean, sort, run some functions on, make pivot tables out of, and make graphs out of which was pretty good. The fourth week goes on to cover some communication best practices and how to balance team and stakeholder needs. It's a good section to go over because I think a lot of people when they first join a company or get their first job, they're very reluctant to say no when they're given a task that's out of the scope of work or is just too much to take on. The section reiterates the idea that it isn't a bad or a negative thing to set boundaries for work when the work being done is either unreasonable or out of your capacity. So that was it for the second course, which was asking questions to make data-driven decisions. And I'll be moving on to the third course, prepare data for exploration. I haven't looked at the course yet, but I assume that I'll definitely be getting more hands-on experience, be it on Excel, I'll definitely be doing more pivot tables, maybe learning a little bit more about SQL functions and maybe some more database as well but we'll see and i'll let you guys know okay bye on to the third course prepared so i just realized that i forgot to give my opinion on the overall course so for course two i'll do that right now it was pretty okay i found that the first part was introductory but it was good introductory it gave us more context into the ask phase how to ask proper questions Type, different types of data and as well we got a chance to work with data which was pretty good but for the fourth week the communicate with teams and understanding needs and whatnot that was good but to me i found that redundant because it's always hammered into me through university that communication is key but i can definitely get it if someone's taking this course for the first time they, didn't, they don't have any educational background then that makes complete sense so um if i'm getting a rating 7 or 8? 7.5 out of 10? Okay, bye.